Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtualization How To. And today we're diving into one of the most important aspects of managing Docker environments, and that is container monitoring. Monitoring Docker containers and your infrastructure gives you that extra layer of visibility that helps you to spot issues, optimize performance, and boost security in your setup. Today I'm going to be covering essential tools for monitoring your containers, focusing on solutions that help you to stay on top of those things like performance, resource usage, and even security. We're going to start with a powerful open source stack, C-Advisor, Node Exporter, Prometheus, and Grafana. And then we're going to explore a cloud-based tool, NetData, for those that are interested in an easy deploy SaaS solution. So we have a lot to cover, so let's dive in. First of all, for open source Docker monitoring, I want to share with you guys four tools that you can easily set up in a monitoring solution stack that allows you to have critical visibility not only into your containers, but also to your container host. Those tools are C-Advisor, Node Exporter, Prometheus, and Grafana. C-Advisor gives you insights into resource usage at a container level, including your CPU, memory, and other resources. Node Exporter is like an agent for your Docker host. Now this gathers host level data like CPU, disk, and memory and network activity that allow you to troubleshoot. Prometheus is like a central database that collects the metrics from C-Advisor and Node Exporter and aggregates those. Grafana is the visualization solution. Grafana allows us to point to the Prometheus instance and then pull those metrics into really great visualizations or dashboards that allow us to make sense of all of that data that we're pulling from our monitoring stack. Now, let's see how to set up a free and open source monitoring stack using those solutions in a Docker Compose file. Now, this code contains Grafana, Prometheus, C-Advisor, and Node Exporter. So what we see here is the directory structure on the container host. And as you can see, I've already went through, I've created the directory structure with the Grafana folder, the Prometheus folder, and then also we have the docker compose.yaml file. And I've got a home lab services parent folder that this is under. Flipping over to the SSH session, tree view shows the exact same structure. Let's look at our Docker Compose file. And in here, just standard Docker Compose file components. Uh, you see all of the services that I've set up. We've got Grafana, the volume out there. We've got Prometheus, and the key with the Prometheus uh, directives in the Docker Compose file is making sure that you have it also pointed to the Prometheus.yaml file which we're going to look at in more detail in just a couple of minutes. C advisors, pretty straightforward. You've got volume mounts to the Docker and system directories. Node exporter is very similar. We're setting up the Prometheus data volume as well as the network for monitoring. For Grafana, Prometheus, C Advisor, and Node Exporter, we set each up with dedicated bind mounts for persistent storage. The configuration specifies network settings and ports, and for Prometheus, a simple YAML file tells it which metrics to collect from our host, so it knows to ingest those metrics from C Advisor as well as Node Exporter. Also, we need a Prometheus configuration file. You'll need to create the Prometheus.yaml file for configuring the Prometheus connections to C Advisor and Node Exporter. Now, let's take a look at an example of what this file would look like using my home lab host addresses. So let's change to the Prometheus directory that we've set up. Listing the content shows there's nothing there. We're going to create the Prometheus.yaml file. I have some text I'm going to paste in and we'll go over the contents of this file. All the way at the top, we've got our global directives, which define the scrape interval. And then also we've got our scrape configuration, which here, the first stanza is the node exporter configuration that shows the node exporter addresses as well as port. And then also we've got C advisor, same thing, port 8080 and just have comments there to make everything clear. But you can see how those are defined in job names under the scrape configs. Once the setup is ready, 
bring up the stack by running the familiar docker compose up dash d command. When we run this command, it starts all four of the services in the monitoring stack and it brings up those containers for each solution. So here we're running the docker dash compose up dash d command. The first thing that you're going to see is the images will start pulling down. If you don't already have those hosted locally, having pulled those before previously, you're going to see those needing to be downloaded, which is what we see here with all four of the container images. Now, once this is done, it will then instantiate all of the containers as we see there. Now, a quick Docker PS shows that all four of the containers, in addition to a couple I already have running, are indeed running. And I do this a couple of times to make sure we don't have anything restarting or have a container that is crashing. Now, if you do see a container crashing, you can use the docker logs command to troubleshoot. Now that we have the solution brought up via Docker Compose, we can log into Grafana and add Prometheus as our data source. Once that's done, we can browse the metrics gathered by C Advisor and Node Explorer. And if the configuration is successful, you'll see a green message that confirms the connection. Let's take a look at what that configuration in Grafana looks like. Here I'm simply logging into Grafana. The first time you do this, it will have you set your administrator password and account then what we do is navigate to the hamburger menu on the top left, go into connections, add new connection, and we're simply just going to search for Prometheus. You're going to find that in the search results. Click the data source Prometheus, add new data source, and then under the Prometheus server URL, we're just going to type http colon forward slash forward slash Prometheus colon 9090. After we enter the URL, then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and there is the save and test button. So click the save and test button and then you should see the successfully queried the Prometheus API. And that tells us we've got a successful connection. Now, the really cool thing about Grafana is that it makes it extremely easy to visualize these metrics. And what's even more, you don't have to spend hours tweaking and figuring out all of these visualizations. We can literally import community dashboards to get insights right away. Let me show you guys how to explore the open source Grafana community dashboard site. And we can find perfect dashboards that are already built by awesome members of the community that we can use to hit the ground running in our Docker container monitoring. So you can Google for the term Grafana Community Dashboards and the first hit that you're going to see in the search results is Grafana Dashboards. Click Grafana Dashboards and it will take you to the official community site for Grafana. And if you notice the search box is just a little bit from the top so we can literally type in terms that we want to search on dashboards that do certain things like C advisor node exporter and as you guys can see there are a ton of results when you type in something like C advisor or node exporter see the dashboards that are found in the results you can click on the screenshots we can go back to the dashboards scroll down once again and here is the node explorer full which i'm currently using to monitor docker swarm host and i really like this one among a few others so if i close out of that we go back another node exporter dashboard that uses prometheus and this one also looks very interesting so i'm going to show you guys you can copy id to clipboard click that button and it will copy the dashboard ID to your clipboard so that we can use it in our Grafana instance. So if I flip back over to Grafana, we're gonna to go to dashboards and we're going to click the new button in the top right and import. And on the import screen, this is where we actually make use of that dashboard ID. And as you can see, it imported it. It's going to ask you to select the Prometheus instance, and then we can just click the import button. And just as easy as that, we have got a killer node exporter dashboard that is already showing us tons of really useful metrics for our container hosts. And some of these, you can just play around with them. I, I like to just download a wide variety of community dashboards 
get them into my Grafana instance, and then I can see which ones I like or which ones I want to use as a starting point, perhaps to customize to my own liking and use various panels. This one that we're looking at now is one of the C Advisor dashboards on the Grafana community site. And I like this because it just at a glance tells you how many containers you're running. You can click and drill into each container and see those individual metrics for that particular container and a wide range of information from storage to compute, memory, networking. And I like this panel as well, container restarts. It will show you which containers are perhaps crash looping. So this is a really good C Advisor dashboard to make use of. Well, as you can see, the open source monitoring stack made up of these four components is extremely powerful. Now though, let's pivot to a different option. Net data. While the open source stack is powerful, if you're looking for a streamlined cloud based option with easy setup, Net Data is a fantastic choice. Net Data provides real time monitoring right out of the box with support for high resolution metrics that refresh literally every second. So it streams those metrics from your on premises resources like your Docker container host as well as your Docker containers that you have running in the environment. And what's really cool about NetData is that it's a cloud-based solution that allows you to get these visualizations without having to stand the infrastructure up for monitoring like we have done over the past few minutes. Having to spin up your own containers, running it on your own Docker container host, and then making sure you've got all of that configuration set up correctly. NetData takes all of that complexity out of that solution. And installing NetData is simple if you call it an installation. You can add nodes using several options that they give you on the website. You can use Docker CLI, Docker Compose, even a Kubernetes environment. NetData auto generates the commands that you need that include your claim token as well as your room ID, making the setup and configuration of this monitoring of your container hosts and other infrastructure in your environment extremely easy. As soon as you onboard your nodes into NetData, if you're like me, one of the first things that you're going to notice and that is pleasantly surprising is just how quickly you will start to get metrics and data from your environment. As soon as you add your host, they start streaming data from the NetData agent. And one of the really cool things that you get with NetData is artificial intelligence and machine learning assistance with anomaly detection. Things that we may not see as human beings with our own eyes or looking at the data ourselves. NetData helps to expose and make those things visible. And it also correlates a lot of that information for you so that you can kind of start piecing things together instead of having to troubleshoot uh, and figure things out piece by piece. So NetData does a lot of that for you. So if we go back to our nodes view, you can see that you can drill into the nodes. You can uh, see a high level dashboard and on the, the tree view on the right hand side or in the right hand panel, uh, one of the things I really like, as you can see, when I scroll down the screen, we're also navigating down that tree. So that makes it really handy to navigate. If you want to not just scroll and keep scrolling, you can actually scroll on the right hand panel and click things like containers and VMs. And I think this is a killer look and killer view in net data because in the containers and VMs view, you can look at your C groups. You can see the CPU usage of your containers, the memory usage, and any other metrics that you want to really keep tabs on. It's going to easily show you that information. And I have already seen the benefits of this looking at home lab services. And I'm going to talk about this in a minute, but I actually had a container that was eating up a lot of C group memory. So all of those things are visible. So we can go back to the system view, as you can see, I'm doing here on the right hand panel. And then if you want to click alerts, one of the other things I really like about net data is out of the box, you're going to get alerting that is automatically enabled for your Docker container host or whatever other node or technology you're running. 
it automatically detects what you're running and it enables most of the alerting that you probably want to have enabled such as docker specific metrics and alerts and it will turn on some generic alerting and notifications on the things that it deems as important however one of the things i wanted to show if you look at the settings for a node here on the health tab you can see all of the health alerts that have automatically been enabled on this particular node. If I, you can search for certain ones such as C group, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to have certain actions or triggers that are custom for your environment, you can drill into these and do as I'm clicking around here. You can click the actions menu. As you see the recipients, it shows silent because at this point, this particular alert does not email us. However, you can easily change that. Now, if I look at something like ping host reachable where a node may actually be down under the action, you see the recipients is out of the box set to sysadmin we're going to get notified if a host is no longer pingable, as likely that node has gone down. You can literally click Add Node in NetData's interface, then choose Docker or Linux or Windows for that matter, depending on your preference for host monitoring. So adding a node is extremely easy. Just click the Add Nodes button and you can see we've got a wide range of technologies that we can install this NetData agent into. I really like, of course, Docker. It makes it super easy and efficient to get up and running with NetData. And you've got a lot of Docker options there, Docker CLI, Docker Compose, or Docker Swarm, as well as Kubernetes. Now, NetData's dashboard gives you a complete view of system performance, container metrics, and even ready-made alerts. You can track metrics at one-second intervals, including CPU, memory, disk, and network usage. There's also a containers and VMs view that I really like, highlighting your containers running in the environment and most of the resources that are running with those containers. And it's easy to spot issues at a glance. I had a GitLab container that was consuming most of the C group resources, and I realized I had some RAM pressure that was causing an issue. So NetData was able to surface that issue so I could see that easily. One of the other things I really like about NetData is that it has built-in alerts that automatically fire off once you onboard your container host when you have situations like a failed container or a container that is unhealthy. NetData views that as a critical alert. You don't have to do anything to set that up. It will notify you by default, at least by email, and you will know exactly what's happening in the environment. The alerting is a standout feature of NetData. And one of the cool things I want to mention for home lab users, NetData offers a home lab license providing access to all the features with unlimited metrics and nodes and it's 90 bucks a year which is really reasonable it's a solid choice if you want fully featured cloud monitoring without the hassle of self-hosting your monitoring solution to wrap up you've got really strong options for docker monitoring for a self-hosted solution you can go with the open source stack using c advisor node exporter prometheus and grafana and if you prefer a cloud-based option net data is an excellent choice with a simple setup and plenty of advanced features and alerting. Give them both a try in your home lab and see which one fits your needs. I honestly think having a mix of both on-premises monitoring as well as cloud-based monitoring is a great way to make sure that you're covered from all angles. I have often seen a catch-22 situation of environments having their monitoring stack on the same infrastructure that goes down. So what happens? You're in a chicken and egg situation at that point. If you're monitoring stack goes down along with the production infrastructure, you very well are unalerted and have no idea that you have a major outage. And in that way, I think having both on-premises monitoring as well as a cloud solution like NetData that covers your monitoring from both angles. Well, thanks for watching. And as always, leave a comment with any questions, post a topic to the VHC forums if you're stuck on something that you just can't get past either in the home lab or production. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more container and virtualization content. Please do stay safe out there, keep on home labbing, and I will see you in the next video.